Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel. So if you're interested on how I got this face on my face, then just keep watching. I also will be talking about this little buddy over here to the side. So um, stay tuned. And if you did not know, I currently do have another giveaway going on right now on my IG um, in collaboration with Juno & Co. They um, are offering to give one of you a set of their brand new brushes. All you have to do is go onto my IG and um, comment on what you're going to be doing for a spring break along with following, in, um, I will say following Instagram, along with following Juno & Co on their IG as well and tagging two friends. So all the rules are on there too. Um, I will be picking someone on the 22nd and um, hopefully it's you. All right, thank you so much for watching and I want to do an outro here. Dang, you know what? Go ahead and enjoy this tutorial, later. All right you guys, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a uh, get ready with me using in two ways, using items um, that are in my current everyday makeup basket. Um, the next video, one or two videos from now, you guys will be seeing me change out the palettes. And I'll explain that later on. So from now on, there might be end up, end up being two different makeup baskets throughout, th throughout the month um, starting now. So, um, but anyways, we're going to jump right into this get ready with me and me. Then you guys know what's going on. I'm just going to color correct some areas on my face. Um, I did not set down my, um, primer. Um, I did do my brows and I have did my concealer on my eyelids, but I have not set that. So I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer all right so for eyes i'm gonna go in with my color pop um i guess z palette type thing here and um that's the palette i'll be using this is currently in my everyday makeup drawer i know i get a couple questions from people they ask me like what type of brushes i'm using and all this other stuff so i figured i would share i'll be using basically all brushes today because for one all my sponges are dirty and I just haven't washed them yet, so I need to do that quick and in a hurry. So the first brush I'm going in with is the Morphe PK36. This is a blending brush. And um, yeah, so this is the brush that I'm going in with. And the first shade that I am going to go in with is the shade top notch and I'm just going to use this as my um, transition shade and if you guys are curious this is top notch right here I'm just gonna do a very simple look today all right you guys so I actually did a giveaway on my um, my Instagram and I did do a video on you know that I was giving it away I was in an unboxing I think it was the show and tell try on video I think it was or unboxing one where I unboxed this um P um this PR package that was sent to me from Juno and Co and it was in the giveaway I was giving away one of these sponges well I ended up giving away both of the sponges that came in the box and um let me go ahead and tell you guys who won those goodies there um, so this is what the post was on my Instagram. If you've seen it, this is what the post looked like. And you basically had to tell me what the word is that was the secret little word. And um, I had two winners here. Okay, so the first winner that I chose, her name was Janet. And, okay, that's the wrong thing. I'm showing you guys uh, too much information there. But yeah, the first winner was Janet. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Janet from West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, she has already received her sponge. And then the second winner was 
is Lindy Robin. Miss Robin. She got hers too. Well, I sent hers. I believe she got hers already too. Um, so yeah. The next shade I'm going to go in using the same brush. I'm going to go in with this shade here. And this shade is called Criss Cross. And these are all shades from ColourPop. And then the next shade I'm going to go in with is this shade here. And this shade is called Heavy Metal. And I'm just going to go in with my finger. Alright, so I know you guys can see my boxy Lux back here in the background. Well, I'm just going to let you guys know that I've actually had that for going on two weeks now. And I have not opened it. Well, I haven't unboxed it for you guys because I am currently waiting for the other box. If you guys aren't new to my channel, but if you are, I do unbox two BoxyCharm boxes every single month. No, BoxyCharm does not send one to me. I pay for both of them. And, um, well, the other one hasn't gotten here yet. Now, if you guys heard the big appeal or the big issue with BoxyCharm, something happened and... My box hasn't got sent out yet, so that is what I'm waiting for. So if you guys want me just to go ahead and unbox this one for you guys, I would gladly go ahead and unbox it and show you guys all the goodies that's in there and do a try on and all that other good stuff. So you guys let me know and that video will come out right before, I'll have that video come out before my next um, makeup drawer video, okay? All right, so we're gonna, Right before we go on to the face, I want to go ahead and mention this box here. Now, this box is not from March. This is February's BoxyCharm box that um, was the giveaway. And the giveaway ended like five days ago. Um, I was waiting to choose the person because I was waiting for March's other box to come and didn't get here. So, the winner for February's BoxyCharm box, um, along with an Ulta gift card is if you guys are curious what I'm doing I am currently looking at my computer because I have the um, giveaway info right here on my computer um, so the winner to this boxy charm giveaway for the month of February goes to Emily Warner um, she's from the state of Texas um, so Honey, hunty, go ahead and email me. My email um, is always in the description box. And I will be making sure it is you because I do have your email right here. So I will be, you know, making sure both emails matches up. But yeah, go ahead and contact me and so I can get this to you. Um, I will give you seven days to respond to me. So today, because I'm actually filming this really, really late, it's actually <laughs> 12 a.m. March 17th, okay? <laughs> I know 21 days of Ulta, just started, just now. Why am I still awake? I don't know. But anyways, girl, go ahead and contact me and I will send this baby to you. All right, so on to the face. So I'm gonna add um, some more um, primer to my face. I'm gonna go ahead and add the Cover FX Illuminizing um, Primer Base. You know, I'm not really into reality shows or anything like that, so we're not even going to talk about all those issues or celebrities doing stupid stuff. All of them doing stupid stuff. Um, but I do want to mention, you know, a lot of people were getting mad at BoxyCharm and at Joe. Joe is the CEO of BoxyCharm. Um, because of... Um, Stuff that wasn't, you know, stuff happens. So, like, there's a whole lot of drama in with that. And it's like, I was listening to everyone's complaints. And I'm like, really, you guys, it's that serious? It is not that serious. At least not to me, it's not. It's not. But apparently to some people, they just went all overboard because their box didn't come when they wanted it and all this other stuff so the foundation i'm using if you guys are curious they're both by makeup revolution this is the makeup revolution fast base foundation stick in the shade f13 
and this is the I mean is their conceal and define liquid foundation it's full coverage and this is also in the shade F13 but as you can see they don't really quite match now this is technically like the only like clean sponge sponge I have but I did not wet it so I'm just gonna just gonna go ahead and use a brush because I don't feel like getting it out. So I'm just going in with the what are you? The Lexi 680 Pro Precision Face Brush. And then you guys, I heard that Boxy Charm is gonna be having a a special or a limited um, edition box for April. That's like all skincare, which is like kind of cool. Especially those that are into skincare and all this other stuff. I was like, hmm. I was kind of interested in that. By the way, do you guys like my background? Um, I decided to switch it up. Um, <laughs> and that's like the background I came up with. Now this picture here. I actually do that picture myself. Um, if you guys are curious, I do have it on my other channel it is posted on my other channel already so if you follow me there then you would have seen me create that but yeah I I created that I was just so happy I had so much fun doing it too so next I'm gonna go in with two concealers well possibly three here um you know I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go in with two I'm gonna go in with the makeup revolution um um Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C13 and in the shade C12. And then I'm just going to blend it all in. Like I said, I'm using brushes today. So I'm going to, I'm going to go in with this brush right here. This is a Morphe G38 brush. And I'm just going to use it to blend out my concealer. You know, it's, it's nice to change it up every once in a while. You know? Doing your whole face with brushes, which I haven't done this in a while. I'm so used to using my Juno & Co. sponge on a daily basis, which I love using that sponge. But it's like, it's nice to switch it up every now and then. Okay, so next I'm going to go back in with um, the ColourPop concealer. I mean, the ColourPop powder. This is what I use to um, set my eyelids and this is what it looks like this is in the shade banana I think I'm like halfway through this now and I'm just using um, a loose fluffy brush here and this is the Morphe R3 and I'm just going to use this I'm just going to go like that tap some off and I'm just going to set underneath my eyes now you could also do this with a um, a regular compact powder. So next we're gonna add some uh, some warmth back into my face. I'm gonna go back in with this palette here. This brush. This is just a regular blending brush, and this is the Morphe R40. And I'm just gonna go into this bronzer here. Um, I'm gonna use it as you know, add the warmth to my face, and um, and this is of course all this is from ColourPop, and this is in the shade, I want to say, I don't know, Rodeo Drive. So that's the shade of this bronzer here is in the shade Rodeo Drive. So I just tapped it in here like that, and I'm just gonna dust off a lot of it, and I'm gonna do the Jackie Ina I say. Jackie, I'm going to start up here at your brows and bring it down because I really want to snatch my nose and then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side, start where my brows are. So I'm like partially on my brows and partially underneath. I'm just going to bring it down like that. No liquid or cream contour or warmth today. So then I'm going to go back into the same brush that I used to set my powder. And I'm just going to go into that shade and warm up my face and all the areas I want to get warmed. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go in with blush. I'm going to go in with my Laura Geller um, blush in the shade, I guess it's a baked blush, 
in the shade Tropic Huge Hues, Tropic Hues, and this came in a box. And I'm just going to take this powder or this face powder brush um, from Juno and Co. And this is the ES02. And I'm just going to swirl it around in there. I got foundation on my nail. Mm. I'm just going to add. I've been loving the the um these brushes, the big ones like this one for my blush lately. Oh well, yep, I don't know why I don't ever use these, but I've been liking them, especially when I'm going to work. They're just, like so pretty. It's like you just it just puts it all in the right spot. So next, going back into this palette, I'm going to go in with this highlight here, and this is in the shade, Rod um, not Rodeo Drive, um, Bay Area from ColourPop. And I'm just going to add, we're going to add some bling and bling to here. Mm-hmm. side, you guys, I'm getting like a hole in this highlighter from ColourPop. It is a hole. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a hole starting to happen right here. I'm going to take the tip of this brush. Oh, this is a Royal and Lane Nickel Highlight and Glow BMD265 brush and it's like kind of tapered. And I'm just going to take the tip of that, dip it in the highlight, and put it underneath my brow bone right here just like that so next I'm just gonna line my lips using the Jaunted Blue lip liner in the shade Spite this is 955 Spite it came in a boxy charm too so to finish off the look for what's gonna go on my lips I'm gonna go in with this Tarte um, lip paint and this is in the shade Striped Strike Gold. This came in, I think it was a boxy charm, or I mean, it was boxy charm. I don't know if it was a boxy lux or a regular box. You know, we're gonna add some little inner glow there. Where'd that palette go? We're gonna add a little inner glow before I go. That's what this needed a little bit of shimmer in the eye. Alright you guys, I went back in with the highlighter to add into my inner corner. And now I'm going to go in with this shade just because I want to. Just because I want to. I'm going to go in with two, others. Ah! two other colors here because I want to and because I can. And because it's makeup and no one can say I can't. So I'm going to go in with two colors. I just want to. I just they're just calling me. So I'm going to go in with this shade here. This one here is called Formation. And then I'm going to go in with this blue here. This is called Backstage. So if I don't get all the glitter, I'm going to use the same brush. This is a, a Juno & Co. ES08 brush. This is more like a pencil brush. And I'm just going to use that to go underneath here. And then going in with Backstage, which Backstage is this blue shade right here. I'll put this out here on the outside. Alright you guys, so that is the end of this makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. I like how the whole thing came together. Um, lately, hmm, what's going on here? Oh, I used my other primer. That's what's going on. Okay, lately i actually been rocking this look to work except for the the color underneath my eyes and the little highlight in the center over here. Other than that, I've been wearing this pink look to work and it looks really, really cute. Um, it's very different. So, I decided that, late, that, now, that now I'm going to start going in with more bolder colors and be like just crazy with my makeup whenever I do a makeup tutorial with you guys. Um, Normally on an everyday basis, I am more of a non-bold color person, even though a lot of people at work want me to kind of work with bold colors. It's just that waking up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm not, I'm not in the right mindset to come to work looking like that. 
in all honesty. <laughs> I'm not in the right mindset. Now, maybe if I go in at 9, maybe I may be in the right mindset. But even then, probably not. Probably not. But anyways, so this is the end of the makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love how the whole look came together. Very different. You know, very different, but very cute at the same time. So, anyways, if you are new to my channel, please consider on subscribing to the channel. We got a lot more going on here. And I am trying to work out what's going to go on with March's giveaway box. Seeing that I haven't even been able to start the giveaway because the box is not here. So, you guys let me know if you guys want me to just go ahead and start the giveaway too. Along with unboxing that box. Then I will start the giveaway whenever that box gets here. Then, you know, that can be given away. Or should I just add the items in that box to um, April's giveaway? You guys let me know. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to each of you again later. Oh, I almost forgot. There's currently another giveaway going on on my Instagram. So if you do not know, I'm telling you now, I'm choosing the winner on the 22nd. Um, I am giving, a, um, giving away a set of makeup brushes from Juno & Co., um, courtesy of Juno & Co., um, I will choose the winner on the 22nd. I am not choosing the winner beforehand. So if you are watching this now, you should go check out my IG. Because that's where the giveaway is currently going on. All you gotta do is go on there and tell me what you're doing for spring break. And um, you will have a chance to win. Only one person is getting picked, okay? Just one. <laughs> but anyways, so that is the current giveaway that's going on on my Instagram. Um, yeah, if you are interested, please go ahead and, you know, go check it out. Go jump into the giveaway but anyways thank you so much for watching and always remember to embrace your beauty and i'll talk to you again later bye